Good to go, Gareth. Good to go. Call the meeting January 18th, 2021. Door. We have a delegation from home online network, Gareth Smart. Floor is yours, Gareth. Okay, so I have, although I'm not on camera, and hopefully everybody can hear me. Let's pass these out. I'll take that, and I'll take this. All right, so what I want to be able to do is just give you guys a little bit of an overview as to what last year looked like for us filming the meetings. Uh, so we, overall, once you get the paper, you'll be able to see these numbers. Last year, we filmed 26 uh, meetings overall. And this isn't including the, the few uh, little sort of specialty things that we filmed as well. So I think we did one when you guys were well, looking at tax properties. Right, so, this, so there's a couple in here that aren't necessarily here, but the regular meetings and special council meetings and committees of the whole, there were 26 meetings overall, with 81 views on average over those uh, per meeting. So typically you guys would have one or two people maybe come in and watch this, got an average of 81 people in the community to watch your guys' stuff. The 26 meetings equaled 18 hours worth of content for people to watch. And we had about two, just 2,100 views um, overall. <laughs> Your guys' most watched council meeting came in with 235 views, which was June 8, 2020. Uh, your lowest viewed was with 23 views on October 13th. Your longest meeting was an hour and 30 minutes and 57 seconds. And I think that you guys have the uh, award for the shortest meeting <laughs> with seven minutes and 26 seconds as, a, as an actual regular council meeting in the middle of the summer. Um, so uh, I just wanted to show you guys what um, filming these council meetings sort of provides. Um, so again, if you only have one or two people coming in, now you have 81 people viewing. And we do typically have them watching for the majority of the council meetings. Um, sometimes you only get them, you know, they watch two minutes of the shows, they watch most of the council meetings. Um, so uh, I think, and, and with, there were several comments from people as well. So I think that what this shows is that there's a fairly decent, for, for a population of what, 960 something, this is about 10% of the population being actively engaged with you guys. Um, so. Which, which, when you only have one or two people, that's that's not a bad mm -hmm. overall number. Do you have any questions? I guess there's no way of telling where the viewers are from. Unfortunately, not that I'm yeah, aware of. Um, and we, what we don't do at this moment is share these. Mm -hmm. So we, we put them on to the Hub Online Network, and we don't post them to other pages. So sometimes I'll see yeah. you share them, you share them occasionally. Uh, what I can start doing is sharing onto like the Cash Creek commu uh, Community Watch page. I don't want to overstep our bounds too much mm -hmm. and not and not have it be relevant co content for those particular Facebook pages. Um, but other pages share to everything. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe that's something that we can start doing as well. And, and bump up uh, community engagement even more. I know I've had a number of people stop me at the post office usually, but it's because they've watched it online right. and they have questions. So and there is definite value in it. Yeah. So I and um, I have a lot of people just asking me, keeping them in the loop. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, one of the things that I've started doing as of last week is on Mondays. Now that we have these meetings every Monday, I'm going to do council agenda precaps. So I go through the agenda and then we'll do the show which is live right now 
And then tomorrow I'll do a recap for people um, that didn't get a chance to watch it. So. Cool. Well, thank you. Well, the Hub Online was definitely ahead of their time because uh, with COVID pandemic coming up <laughs> and uh, showing, uh, showing us what the world is going to be like in 2020, uh, it's a valuable asset to have to get the voice out to the public and keep them engaged and uh, ensure that we're being um, uh, democratically responsible, I guess, for the lack of better terms. So we thank you for that. We're just hoping to, to stay relevant and, and keep making the system better, better, and better. So it's easier to hear people, easier to see people, um, and easier, hopefully, to have people engage from the community. What I'm hoping to do with these live meetings is have a chunk of time where we can take, if people are watching, we can take questions from the public. Um, I don't know if we'll necessarily get a chance to do that tonight, but um, moving forward. Mm -hmm. so. A little bird told me that Clinton is also going to be involved? I haven't heard an official yes or no yet, uh, but we have had a meeting. They should have talked about it last week, and I'm here, I'm hoping to hear back from them today, or tomorrow, Wednesday, and get the, uh, the go ahead. So, starting next week, we should be filming that. That would be awesome, to have all three communities involved. Right? Yeah. So, anyway, thank you very much. Be the bands. Is there any, any other questions? Thanks, Gareth. Thank oh. you. That the minutes of the regular council meeting be held on that held on January fourth, twenty twenty one, be adopted as presented. So moved. Second. Discussion. All in favor. Carried. The minutes of the special council meeting on January eleventh, twenty twenty one, be adopted as presented. So moved. Second. Discussion. In favor. Period. Recommendation that we send a letter of thanks to Mr. Smart for his presentation. Second. Discussion? All in favor? <laughs> Carried. Business rising from the minutes, the Chief Administrator Officer status report. The Council receiving file. So moved. Second. Discussion. Councillor Coomber. Uh, I made a note that page 10, there we go, the footbridge lighting, that's uh, ah. complete, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay. It missed the publication deadline for my status report, but it is complete. <laughs> Any further? Economic development, Councillor Peters and Councillor Coomber. Oh, did we vote? We didn't vote on the motion. I'm sorry. All in favor? Economic development. Nothing for me. I have no report. Budget and Ministry of Services. Nothing for me. No report. Policy and bylaw review, myself and Councillor Peters. Councillor Peters, would you like to take this one? I move that we give first reading to Village of Cash Creek Bylaw 5-001, Business Licensing Amendment 2021, a bylaw to amend the Village of Cash Creek Bylaw number 495-1993, a bylaw governing licenses and regulations for carrying a business on business within the Village of Cash Creek. Second. Discussion. Seeing none, all in favor? Carried. I move that council give first reading, or <laughs> I move that we adopt the Village of Cash Creek bylaw number 6 001, zoning whoa, amendment whoa, whoa. 2021, a bylaw to oh. amend the Village whoa, of whoa, Cash Creek. Excuse me. Oh, uh, I missed one. No. Excuse me. No, it's not to adopt. It is to give first reading. You're right first oh. time. Oh, for, sorry that we give first reading to Village of Cash Creek Bylaw number 6-001 Zoning Amendment 2021, a bylaw to amend the Village of Cash Creek Zoning Bylaw number 423-1990. Second. Discussion. All in favor? Carried. Public Works and Community Facilities, myself and Councillor DeCole, she isn't here. 
so we'll go right through to the recommendation on the uh, provided to us drinking water infrastructure grant application. Go ahead, see you. If I, if I may, for this and generally for any recommendation, uh, you don't have to read out the whole thing if you don't want to. You could just say that you move the recommendation as stated on the agenda. Because it is a long one. Yeah. <coughs> Have the motion for the recommendation. So moved. We'll second it. Discussion. Uh, you seconded? I did. Okay. So this is, I read it and, but the uh, complete application wasn't there. It was cut off in a number of places. Mm -hmm. So this has already been submitted. Unfortunately, yes. It, okay. Well, I shouldn't say unfortunately, but unfortunately there was a very, very short time frame. Mm -hmm. uh, we were given about a little over a month uh, with the Christmas New Year's break in, in that uh, time period. Uh, so we had to really scramble to get this application in. There might be some stuff that's missing. Uh, if it's anything significant, we can bring it to the engineer's attention and we can ask for an amendment prior, prior no, to... It's, uh, it's the, the print that we have is cut off on part, um, almost every box, slot on every box. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're missing part of it. I'll ask them to send a, a, a copy with the that stuff broken out. Because it was twirling reading. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I get to the end of it and it's like, wait, wait! <laughs> So we're asking for two and a half million to raise the water treatment plant access road, uh, extend the casing and electrical of well seven, decommission well six, uh, install a new well, yes, and install an emergency backup generator and disconnect the. Clearwell gravity overflow to river piping and replace with an overflow soap pump. Correct. Okay. How can they turn us down? Uh, <laughs> they can turn us down because this grant program may be very highly subscribed because it's... Uh, everybody's it's, flooding. It, exactly, yes. Uh, oh, and uh, for anyone who may think that there's uh, possibly other uh, water items that we could have added in here, it had to be specifically to address the flooding. Mm -hmm. so on my understanding is 100% funded. It is. So it's 100% funded. And um, uh, the public work staff has had a great deal of input, uh, I, 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 I'm assuming. And um, uh, when would we know? Okay, this is my memory, which is not 100%, but I believe the uh, grant criteria was, was say two to three month uh, period uh, for review and uh, letting you know whether you were approved or not, which is substantially faster than most of the infrastructure grants, which can take up to a year sometimes. It still wouldn't do for, for Shet this year. It will not be approved by prior to Freshet, or if it is, it's a rate after Shet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we would be uh, uh, prudent in looking at setting up a, a budget line for overages mm -hmm. if we get the grant? Yes, any overages, uh, anything over and above what we are approved is on, uh, is on us. We have to pay for that. And I would assume that they're fairly comfortable with that number or they wouldn't have they are, and it was, as uh, the mayor alluded, it, it bounced back several times between engineers and staff before they submitted this. And that's true. That's correct. Thank you. Anything further? Any further discussion? All in favor? Carry. Religious Services and Liaison, Councillor Defoe and Councillor Coomber. Um, all of my meetings start tomorrow. I have no other report. Thank you. The only other thing um, is we had another meeting with the bylaw in, um, working group, the three communities, and our, our the biggest hurdle is passed, as far as I'm concerned, is all three. Villages have been approved the budgets, 
Um, next steps now are waiting for um, approval from the Attorney General's office, which they said four to six weeks for approvals, and those were all sent in right around the Christmas time. Uh, we're in the process of drafting the, the agreement between the three villages, and um, which CEO Dawson is, is taking lead on, and CEO Murray from uh, Clinton is taking the lead on the actual bylaw draft, and then each community would, of course, adapt it to their specifications. We want to try to keep everything as clean as we can for the three communities so that whoever takes the position has, uh, it's less confusing. We try to be on the same um, thought for the three villages so that uh, there's some consistency for them. Um, and we're starting the search for a vehicle that's CEO Dick. Dick I had a first name I couldn't get. The second name wasn't coming. Um, is working on that. So we're moving forward. It's not going to happen as quickly as we had hoped it would. The Attorney <coughs> General thing kind of put a little bit of a, a halt on it, as well as the budget discussions, the changes in our planning on the the budgets. So we're a few months. Well, going to be a few months later getting it going than we had hoped. But still going to happen in the next, within the next six months, I'll say, but certainly, hopefully, sooner than that. Keeping our fingers crossed. Yeah. Thank you. Intergovernmental relations, myself and Councillor Coomber. Take that one, Councillor Coomber. I'll move that staff be. Directed to uh, draft a letter to the Honorable Adrian Dix to support the initiative of the City of Nelson to have essential critical infrastructure municipal employees included in the list of essential workers for the second priority group of the COVID-19 vaccine rollout. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Carried. File. <laughs> um, I'll move that council receive and file the request uh, for support of Bill C-123 from MPs Julian Kwan and Davies. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Carried. Landfill Advisory Committee. No meetings uh, since the last one, but uh, apparently uh, I'm going to go monitor the landfill tomorrow. January 19th? Yes. Between 2 and 4. Mm -hmm. That'll be fun. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Information correspondence? Not on the agenda. New business. Questions from the public, questions from the press. Motion to move into closed. <laughs> so moved. Second. Discussion, all in favor, carried. Thank you.